Hello, this is Reed Tillery. What we want to look at now is how to find east and west by the constellation Orion, and more specifically by one particular star in the constellation, which is called Mintaka. I'm going to circle Mintaka right here, and write its name. Now the really cool thing about the star Mintaka is that no matter where you are on Earth, it always rises due east and sets due west. So you can always find east and west whenever you see Mintaka rise or, or you see Mintaka set. The problem is if you're in a wilderness area, you may not be able to see Mintaka rise or you may not be able to see it actually set because trees or mountains could obscure the horizon. And also if you're at sea, it could be that the horizon is obscured by haze or low hanging clouds because it's hard to see a star just as it, it, it comes up out of the ocean, so to speak. So you can still, nevertheless, if you can't see it rise or set, you can still find east or west by tracing Mintaka back to the horizon in your mind's eye at an angle equal to 90 degrees minus your latitude. So for instance, I live at latitude 30 degrees north so to find east or west, I can trace Mintaka back to the horizon at a 60 degree angle, 90 degrees minus 30 degrees. Now looking at this particular photo here, Mintaka was within a few hours of setting, so I can trace Mintaka forward to the horizon to find west. So I'll just draw a 60 degree angle here. I guess that's more or less 60 degrees. And I would do that in my mind's eye. Keep in mind that a 90 degree angle is straight up and down and a zero degree angle would be horizontal with the horizon. So this way is west. Now two or three hours after Mintaka has risen, I could have also traced it back to the horizon to find east. If you look at the constellation Orion, I'm just going to outline that right here. Orion is the hunter. This is legs. Here's his bow. It's held with an outstretched arm. And here's an arm held high. Orion rises on his back and sets on his face. So you can see that he's tilting forward here now. So he is in a more of a setting position. To help you remember a large portion of the night sky, and it, it's important to be able to make sense of these stars if you're a navigator, uh, the mythology sometimes proves useful. Let's look at uh, the mythology surrounding Orion and some of the characters in the sky close to Orion. So here's Orion, the great hunter. It is said that Orion had a huge ego and he was keenly interested in Atlas's seven daughters, the Pleiades. And this little constellation right here is known as the Pleiades or Atlas's seven daughters, the seven sisters, or whatever. So Atlas, as the story goes, didn't think too much of Orion giving his daughters all that, that attention. So he put Taurus the bull in the sky to protect his daughters from Orion. So I'm going to outline Taurus right here. Here's Taurus the bull. And this big red eye is the giant red star Aldebaran. Apparently, uh, 
giant red star is one that's about to burn out. Of course, that's not any time within our lifetime, but in star time, it, it uh, apparently is at, at, at the end of its uh, life or approaching the end of its life. Here's another red giant here. This is Betelgeuse. Notice the spelling, it's not spelled exactly as it sounds, but that's, this is the star Betelgeuse, and this is the star Aldebaran. And the important star for navigation purposes is, of course, Mintaka. Now the reason it helps to understand the relationship of these stars to one another is that relationship never changes. Even though the stars move across the night sky, they remain fixed with, in relation to one another. This does not apply to planets which do move throughout uh, the night sky and, and do move in relation to, to the stars, but but this discussion here does not include planets. One thing, one last thing I'd like to say about Orion is that it is a winter constellation appearing in the night sky from about October through March. So during those times, uh, the star Mintaka can prove useful to you in finding your way at night. I hope you find this video useful, and until next time, this is Reed Tillery.